वेलकम ऑन बोर्ड द न्यूज ट्रैक एम राहुल कंवल इन द बैड लैंड ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश लोकल बीजेपी पार्टी वर्कर शूट्स अ मैन डेड इन ब्रॉड डे लाइट ही इज कॉट बाय द उत्तर प्रदेश पुलिस बट मैनेजेस टू गेट अवे हाउ डेड दैट लोकल बीजेपी वर्कर गेट अवे वाई एंड वॉट इज दिस से अबाउट लॉ एंड ऑर्डर इन द स्टेट दैट्स माई टॉप फोकस ऑन द न्यूज ट्रैक टू नाइट another shocker from uttar pradesh brazen daylight shootout local bjp worker shoots man dead Accused flees after brief arrest. What will fix UP law and order? The top focus on news track. On the news track tonight, we'll get you ground reports from Darjanpur in Balia. A brazen shootout in full public view in the presence of police and local government officials. If this sounds like a scene straight out of a gangster movie, it's not. This is what happened in Darjanpur village in the Balia district of Uttar Pradesh. A local BJP worker shot a man dead. He was caught by the police. Not one, not two. At least five policemen around him. But somehow, mysteriously and magically, the man. managed to flee how did that happen in the presence of half a dozen policemen and the district magistrate is there no fear of law and order in the state of uttar pradesh this is my lead story tonight a brazen daylight shooting in uttar pradesh's balia the accused dhirendra singh a bjp worker and an ex army jawan fired indiscriminately at the crowd hitting a 46 year old man the gunshot victim died instantly it all started on thursday when a meeting was called by the balia sub district magistrate for the allotment of ration shops dhirendra singh who is wearing a saffron kurta can be seen at the meeting along with other locals what followed was a scuffle between dhirendra singh and the locals the accused can be seen punching a man He allegedly wanted the allotment shops in his favor. Moments later, Dhirendra Singh brazenly opens fire. Not once, not twice. All in the presence of government officials and police. The shooting triggered chaos and claimed the life of one man. If the shooting was brazen, what followed was bizarre. After the gunfire, Dhirendra is surrounded by several cops at the scene, but the accused managed to flee, allegedly with the help of police. Seven people have been arrested so far, but the shooter is at large. The police ransacked the accused's house in Balia after the incident. ये गिरफ्तारी सात लोगों की हो चुकी है. आठ नामजद हैं और पचीस अज्ञात लोग हैं और मुख्य अभियुक्त तो, तो मेन फोकस है हमारा और कहीं से भी कोई कोताही नहीं होगी और ये एक एग्जाम्पल के रूप में हम लोग इसको सेट कर मैं इतना ही कहना चाहूँगा कि कार्रवाई बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग कार्रवाई होगी किसी को बख्सा नहीं जाएगा और इन अपराधियों को मैसेज दिया जाएगा कि जुर्म करने का मतलब क्या होता है The police are also being accused of forcing early cremation of the victim against the wishes of the family. The BJP initially denied any links with the main accused, but later party MLA Surendra Singh admitted the ties. मुझको विधायक बनाने में उसका परिवार वोट दिया है, लोकसभा चुनाव में वोट दिया है, अभी सभी कार्यक्रमों में सभी कार्यक्रम में भाग लेता है. तो मैं कैसे कह सकता हूं कि मेरा सहयोगी नहीं भारतीय जनता पार्टी का वो सहयोगी है मेरा ही सहयोगी नहीं है भारतीय जनता पार्टी का सहयोगी 
धीरेंद्र सिंह यदि आत्मरक्षा में गोली नहीं चलाया होता तो कम से कम उसके परिवार के दर्जनों लोग मार दिए गए होते और उनके गोल के दर्जनों लोग मार दिए गए होते लेकिन जिस तरह से प्रशासन अपनी कार्रवाई सुनिश्चित कर रहा है उससे मैं जरूर ये अपना आग्रह करूँगा कि दूसरे पक्ष के भी पीड़ित लोगों की पीड़ा को लोग समझें और उनकी पीड़ा को भी देख करके जो न्याय हो सके उनको भी देने का कष्ट करें The opposition has hit out at the Yogi Adityanath government, claiming breakdown of law and order. भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सत्तारूढ़ दल के कार्यकर्ता मदान धो गए हैं और वो कानून को अपने हाथ में ले रहे हैं और पुलिस पस्त हो गई है पुलिस रोक भी नहीं पा रही है उनको इस प्रदेश में बलिया की घटना साबित करती है कि जंगल राज है और प्रशासन पंग हो गया है भाजपा के दबाव में जिस प्रदेश में पुलिस प्रशासन का इकबाल खत्म हो जाता है समझो उस प्रदेश में तालिबानी जैसा माहौल हो जाता है इससे साफ जाहिर होता है कि उत्तर प्रदेश के अंदर में अपराधियों का और दबंगों का राज चल रहा है कानून व्यवस्था नाम की कोई चीज नहीं आज पूरे उत्तर प्रदेश में अफरा तफरी का माहौल है वन मोर इंसिडेंट ऑफ लॉलेसनेस इन उत्तर प्रदेश The shooting has once again put the spotlight on the state police who were accused of going soft on criminals. Were the police simply inept or were they complicit in helping the shooter flee? They have many questions to answer. With Abhishek Mishra in Balia, Bureau Report India today. So, just imagine for a moment what happened in Darjanpur. You've got the main accused, Dhirendra Pratap Singh. He shoots a man dead. Soon after that, he's picked up by the police. He's got five policemen around him, and somehow he manages to get away. Was the police complicit? Was it just incompetent? Joining me on the news track, I want to welcome first one of the senior most ministers in the BJP government in the state of Uttar Pradesh, live from Lucknow. With us at this moment is Siddharth Nath Singh. Also joining us on this broadcast for a perspective from the Samajwadi Party, its spokesperson Ghansham Tiwari, uh, representing the state BJP, Anila Singh. Supriya Shrinath is a spokesperson of the Congress Party, and we've got Vikram Singh. former director general of the uttar pradesh police siddharth nath singh i want to come to you first sir how is it that this local bjp worker dhirendra pratap singh is caught first he fires on open camera all of this is happening in broad daylight he's you know, nabbed by the police and someone i still can't understand how this could have happened he gets away when the police has got him first he shot someone so you can say okay that you couldn't control then you've got the man and yet he manages to get away how did that happen what are you finding out and uh, what's the police telling you about how dhirendra pratap singh managed to get away after killing jay prakash pal well uh, it's certainly an unfortunate incident rahul and uh, the police uh, who were around uh, in that uh, area they should have caught him and uh, since they did, did not do what they were supposed to do certainly the uh, the police they have been suspended and action been taken including the sp and the junior uh, dsp also so what they were supposed to do they haven't done which is very sad at the same time uh, the dgp and the, the administration hasn't learned from their duty they have been suspended and action being taken against them So this incident comes soon on the wake of what happened in Hathras, uh, a story which you know really shocked people all across the country. And one of the strongest pitches of the BJP government in Uttar Pradesh was that, unlike what was happening on the watch of Akhilesh Yadav, uh, the former Samajwadi Party chief minister, you had claimed that law and order, maintaining law and order, ensuring that people are scared of the police, that Rudpatha law and order car, people were scared of the police. all of what we've seen over the past few days and weeks really makes people in uttar pradesh and across the state wonder how strong those claims were and whether at all they were true no sir well there is no comparison with akhilesh yadav or any other regime before that certainly this uh, the crime rate and uh, particularly against the women the sc st the children they all have come down and the registration of firs have gone up in uttar pradesh so all those things when you look 
look at totality and nobody else but the ncrb is giving the report they all speak volumes about how things have improved in uttar pradesh but since you have mentioned about the hatras hatras i it's a subjudice now because it's with supreme court so i won't be speaking much about it but hatras what was being claimed and what was the uh, the reason as being shown by the brother and sister walking on the express way certainly it doesn't seem to be big because there uh, there are versions coming out so let the final report come out and we will all understand what was happening in hatras and why there was a political game plan in hatras to exploit a a particular section of a society for a vote bank no but the question that will be asked minister is this uh this particular person dhirendra pratap singh is a local bjp worker you've got the local mla come out on camera and say that he was in fact head of the sainik prakosh the serviceman cell for the district of balia and he worked very closely with the local bjp mla now when this man gets away people will wonder was it because he was a member of the ruling dispensation that he managed to get away otherwise how is it that you get picked up you are surrounded by and all of this is caught on cameras we can be certain about this you are surrounded on camera by at least half a dozen policemen and somehow you manage to get away is it because he was a member of the ruling uh, dispensation well uh, i can't really answer the, on the local how the police what made the police allow him but certainly it is wrong nobody is allowed whether it is a bjp a uh, worker or mla or even a minister you're not the instructions are very clear and instructions need to be followed if they are not followed then action will follow from our side and that is exactly what's been done and as far as this uh, the mla who has come in support of uh, uh, the 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 bjp uh, uh, the shooter or the, the the one who came up dhiren singh if that mla is also being taken to task and uh, th there is a process in the party the uh, the bjp president is taken stock of it and he is taking whatever needs to be spoken to him what whatever is being suggested by this disciplinary committee that all will be is being done in due course we'll you'll all hear about it what what's reassuring is that you're saying that there will be strong action against uh anyone who's found guilty and you're emphatic in the manner in which you're saying it so we'll hold you to that siddharth nath singh for joining us thank you very much the main accused in the balia shootout case is still absconding initially uh the local district president of the bharti janata party claimed the party had no link with dhirendra pratap singh but a simple analysis of his social media profiles revealed that dhirendra had in fact very clear links to the party he'd been working with the bjp at least for the last 4 years and through across facebook he posted several photographs of himself with local leaders and the mla the mla in fact came on record to say that this guy is my man bullets flew harrowing chaos followed some surrounded a dying man on the ground dekhiye idhar sir dekhiye and police captured the alleged attacker on the scene but turns out the suspect dhirendra pratap singh mysteriously escaped armed with a gun he was first able to attend a public allotment of ration stores an event presided over by senior district officials and guarded by local police at balias durjanpur village on thursday he then allegedly opened fire on rival groups and fled after being briefly held mrtak ke bhai dwara bataya gaya ki wo mauke par police dwara pakda gaya tha bheed bhad ka fayda utha kar ke wo nikal gaya nishchit roop se police की लापरवाही प्रथम दृष्टिया जो परिलक्षित हुई है उसी कारण से थाना स्तर के जितने भी यहाँ पे पुलिसकर्मी मौजूद थे अन्य जो भी यहाँ जिम्मेदार राजपत्रित अधिकारी थे शासन द्वारा उनका भी संज्ञान लेकर अपने स्तर से कार्रवाई की जा रही है सस्पेक्ट धीरेन्द्र प्रताप सिंह एसोसिएशन विथ लोकल पॉलिटिक्स हाउ एवर रिमेन्स प्रोमिनेंटली डिस्प्लेड ऑन हिज सोशल मीडिया प्रोफाइल हिज फेसबुक शोज ही हैज बीन अम्बर ऑफ द बीजेपी सिंस टू The year he retired as army jawan
son of a retired teacher and father of three children himself, Singh's pictures suggests his proximity to BJP MLA Surendra Singh. The legislator also owned up this connection with the accused party worker. Bairia Vidhan Sabha Chitra Ka Mai Vidhayak Hoon and Dhirendra Pratap Singh Ji in our Chunao Mai लोक सभा के भी चुनाव में एक सहयोगी कार्यकर्ता के रूप में हमारा सहयोग भारतीय जनता पार्टी का सहयोग किए हैं तो मैं कैसे कह सकता हूं कि मेरा सहयोगी नहीं बिल्कुल ही इसको मैं बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मैं झूठ नहीं बोलता हकीकत है कि हम बीजेपी का वो सहयोगी था लेकिन चूंकि गलत गलत गोली कांड जो है दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है इसको हम लोग अच्छा नहीं मानते भाजपा शीर्ष नेतृत्व को हृदय की गहराई से हम लोग बधाई देते हैं भाजपा कार्यकर्ता बलिया जनपद के कि आपने एक ऐसे सांसद को यहाँ पे भेजा है जो जनपद के लिए गौरव की बात है इंडीड धीरेन्द्र प्रताप सिंह सेम्स टू हैव बीन एक्टिवली इन्वॉल्व इन बीजेपी कैंपेन एटलीस्ट एट द लोकल लेवल भाजपा कार्यकर्ता but a 46 year old man jay prakash pal died from the gunfire he allegedly unleashed during a crowded public meeting the burning issue of alleged lawlessness and negligence of police in uttar pradesh the local administration in balia is under intense pressure to capture the suspect as soon as possible the question remain unanswered until it's conclusively investigated how he escaped in the first place after he was caught by the police at the scene of crime in the meantime the local bjp leadership has sought to project the balia firing as an act of self defense adhikariyon ke madhyam se jo jankari hui hai udhar se udhar se saikdo logon ne laathi danda lekar ke धीरेन्द्र प्रताप सिंह के बहन को धीरेन्द्र प्रताप सिंह के भाभी को धीरेन्द्र प्रताप सिंह के पिताजी को और उनको भी सबको सात आठ लोग चोटिल हैं एक केवल एक पक्षीय एक पक्षीय जो है सूचना चला करके और समाचार चला करके समाज को न्याय से वंचित करना चाहते हकीकत यह कि गोली कांड अच्छा नहीं है ये दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है इसको अच्छा नहीं कह सकता Aside from the MLA's apparent defence, police have named eight suspects in the FIR, including the main accused, Dhirendra Pratap Singh. Look, the life of the person is the only one. But no one can be the only one who can be the only one who can be the only one who can be the only one. And if someone is the only one, I think that they should also be the only one. That's how an elected chief minister once issued a tough warning to criminals. This time though, the Balia administration may have a lot of explaining to do on how the suspected killer escaped custody in the first place. With Abhishek Mishra, Bureau Report, India Today. Does the episode in Darjanpur in Balia in Uttar Pradesh raise further questions about law and order in the state because this was the government's biggest pitch that we fixed law and order or is it wrong to look at isolated incidents and to try and draw larger conclusions joining us on the news track we've got Gansham Tiwadi of the Samajwadi party Supriya Shrinath of the Congress Anila Singh of the BJP and Vikram Singh former director general of police I in fact have data out on our screen right now which looks at the 10 years of three different chief ministers, Mayawati, Akhilesh Yadav and Yogi Adityanath and Ghansham Tiwari. The data says whether you look at the number of murder cases or you look at the number of uh, rape cases, it's under Akhilesh Yadav, the Samajwadi Party chief minister, that the cases peaked. In fact, under Yogi Adityanath, the number of cases of rape and murder actually coming down. The BJP can argue, don't look just at Hathras, don't look just at what happened in Darjanpur. These are terrible, as Siddharth Nath Singh says, but it's not because we're in power. It's happening despite our best efforts. Let's start with Ghansham Tiwari. Well, let me, let me add to your data. I have the newspapers of today, which have uh, great glowing pictures of Aditinath. You open the newspaper, it says UP is ranked two in, in ease of doing business. You open the newspaper, you, you hear about heinous spine chilling crime in barabanki where a dalit girl was raped you read about hathras you read about hunting of of a common man by a bjp leader who's the right hand man of a bjp mla surendra nath singh who 
Mr. Siddharth Nath Singh was saying some disciplinary action will happen. If you look at Surendra Nath Singh himself, there are four charges against him on criminal intimidation, one charge on attempt to culpable homicide, one charge attempt to murder. There's a whole list that we, we will exhaust the program, will not complete. Look at the chief minister, deputy chief minister. There are 150 MLAs and MPs of BJP who have criminal charges. 100 have serious criminal charges. This is an administration sitting in the lap of criminals. Adityanath did not become chief minister by doing peace march. Or Keshav Prasad Maurya did not become deputy chief minister by doing peace march. So to give them a flag just because they are, they advertise a lot like this, uh, that they will clean up Uttar Pradesh just because they said so. The news, everyday news does not tell us. Yes, we can look at statistics and, and argue over, over them, but that statistic will not tell us why a man who was caught by six policemen, who in, in, in a previous visual sat with the, the CEO, sat with the SDM, carried a gun openly to a, to a, representing a, a women's Sahayata Samu. And why is the man still, still scot free? Okay, so Anila so is saying... Ganshyam Tiwari says, your claims of fixing law and order are nothing but a marketing gimmick. This man comes to a public auction with a gun. He shoots a man in broad daylight, manages to get away despite being caught by half a dozen policemen. It clearly means that law and order is not on the mend on your watch. Rahul, just now even your channel was showing the graphics that uh, a crime was at its epitome during the... Samajwadi party tenure. I was listening to Mr. Tiwari and he was saying so high about Mr. Aklesh Yadav. So let me tell him that you are downsizing Yogi Aditna ji and you are talking so high about uh, Aklesh Yadav ji. Then I have to tell you Aklesh Yadav ji got politics on the platter, silver gold platter, whatever you want to say. And Yogi Aditna ji doesn't uh, uh, comes from any legacy. He has worked hard to achieve this and he is working hard to control crime and criminals and corruption in Uttar Pradesh. And UP people, they have got trust and confidence in Yogi Aditna ji. That is why we have made hat trick here. Samajwadi party cannot claim and just now you gave several examples. You mentioned about Barabanki also Mr. Tiwari. Then I have to tell you that in Barabanki, the cousin brother of the girl, he is the accused. He did the crime. So what you have to say about all those people who are sitting right there in the house or they are the neighbors and they commit crime okay. against Supriya you. Supriya Shrinath, so Anila Singh counters by saying picture. it's not as if these incidents are happening because we want them to. Crime and corruption is on the mend. It's happening despite our government's best efforts. Supriya. I don't for a second believe that any government can completely stop crime. I don't think we can live in fool's paradise, whether it is Congress or BJP or any other government in this country. But the reality is what follows after a criminal act is what is important. And in UP, what follows after a criminal act is more often than not negligence. Here is a man who in broad daylight shoots a guy dead and then instead of being captured, he flees. Are you telling me that five policemen could not hold this man back? Are you telling me they are not complicit? Are you telling me that the elected MLA of that place comes and says, Yeh kriya ki pratikriya hai? He is justifying the act and the same MLA has made absurd statements. In fact, very, very victim shaming statements on Hathras. No action has been taken against him. Raj, uh, Mr. Uh, the minister was here some time back and he goes on to say that, you know, SP, SP has not been suspended. His information is wrong. His information is also wrong. The disciplinary action has been taken. What disciplinary action has been taken against Rajanjit Shivasta, who made that gruesome, uh, you know, statement about Ganne ka khet? What action are we talking about? I mean, UP today is a jungle raj. We can look the other way and say we are not going to talk about it because he did not have it on a silver platter. I don't understand these arguments. The reality is there is no law and order. Kanun ki koi vyavastha hai hi nahi. Aaj broad daylight mein din dahade ek admi ki hatya hoti hai, wo admi paanch police officers ke hote mein bhi bhaag jata hai. Wo bhaag sakta hai ya usko bhagaya gaya hai. Ye sawal hai aaj. Vikram Singh. Bhag, bhag gaya ya bhagaya gaya? You know, you've been director general, you've led the Uttar Pradesh police. I want our producers to put those images out on your screen around 2.15 p.m. yesterday in the afternoon. There he is, the main accused, Dhirendra Pratap Singh, after shooting Jai Prakash Pal. One, two, three, four, five, five in close proximity. I see a sixth policeman right at the back. And somehow, Dhirendra gets away. Bhag gaya ya bhagaya gaya? What's your view, sir? 
Mr. Rahul Kaval, whether he ran away or he was facilitated his escape, the fact of the matter is that this is incompetence of the worst kind. And I am tempted to believe that the policemen and personnel were so petrified and mortally scared of the person's political contacts and the political pedigree and also the impact the local Sir. MLA has. Perhaps these policemen did not have it in them to apprehend him with a sense of purpose. They were rudderless individuals who were there for the, just for the sake of being there. They did not have it in them and perhaps the strength of the Lord was missing totally that they could have intervened with a sense of finality that was totally lacking. They were all, as we call it, the, you know, the sad sacks, unmitigated disasters to say the least and what they should have done. This is, I will stop at that. But yes, suspension is not the punishment. There is a provision of registering a case and sending them to jail when person in custody escapes from their rights and the right to private defense ceases when there's a police contingent close by the right to private defense is taken care of by the armed police contingent and not by individual carrying a licensed weapon anila is saying the former director general of police calling this the incompetence of the worst kind and making the point that the policemen seem to have been scared of this BJP workers' political contacts and therefore they were left rudderless because they may have worried that if they act against him, uh, his local political patrons belonging your, to your party would come to his rescue. Uh, Rahul, my answer to uh, accusation which Mr. Singh has uh, made on Bharati Janta Party gov government in Uttar Pradesh is, yes, two senior officers were present and uh, almost 11 or 12 uh, police personnel were there as well. And in front of them, if, uh, uh, if an uproar breaks out and people start uh, beating each other, then that leads to gunfire and a person dies in that gunfire. Definitely it is unfortunate. And inquiry is on, uh, officials have been suspended. And just now you no, know... You haven't responded to the most critical part of what say. Vikram Singh said, Anila Singh, which is that... Is it the case that the police were so petrified of his local contacts which they would have known about the political patronage that he enjoys given his close proximity to the BJP MLA that they didn't have the courage to go out and arrest him and what does that say about the kind of mindset the police operates in? I don't think so. I don't think so because in Uttar Pradesh, in Bharati Janta Party government, politicians, they don't uh, get postings done like earlier governments so we do not sell our thanas so definitely a question like uh, supriya also said ki bhaga ya bhagaya gaya to inquiry ho jane dijiye na inquiry mein sab pata chala okay. chal jayega tiwari anila singh says we're, 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 we're acting against the local cops we're not hiding anything if this man ran away because of the incompetence of the police or its complicity the local police will have to pay unlike the sp government we don't sell thanas she throws it back at you Rahul, just think about the, the visual that you are playing and what, what uh, Mr. Vikram Singh has said so eloquently. That here is a man in open daylight, he shoots, takes out a gun, shoots a person, is surrounded by a dozen policemen, including three sub-inspectors, a CO rank officer, and walks away. Any local reporter will tell you that he has, he has business links in illegal, illegal liquor with, the, with the, uh, the MLA who's protecting him, whose criminal charges will run more than the mark sheets that you and I would have. So this is a co complete setup of crime that, that exists where a man can openly shoot in daylight and just walk away. Have we ever seen a case like this? What can we, this is, it is as bizarre or more than the chief minister ordering burning of fire in the middle of the night and suspending police that we saw in Hathras. Every day is a, is a new day of bizarre lawlessness, Jangal Raj in Uttar Pradesh, because the chief minister is incompetent and he, he enjoys this diktat leadership that he has, that people will say he is a strong chief minister because he can come and make strong statements. His own records of crime, his own records of governance, his daily records of, of lawlessness and Jangal Raj does not support his claim, but his advertisements support his claim. There cannot be a more bizarre case. I don't think there can be any defense. Nowhere in the world you will see a man Kill us innocent Your man and is walk absolutely away like this. baseless, Mr. Tiwari. Mr. Tiwari, your rant is absolutely baseless. As I told you earlier, that ours, uh, ours is a democratic country and people decide that which government 
which political personality is the best for them. And as I told you, there has been hat trick. BJP has made hat trick in Uttar Pradesh so this in different go elections. Away. So people who in kill a person future. in their So you cannot say so that, we, uh, that the people with, of the UP they don't have standing trust next to them and giving them a salutary in BJP. walk. Come on. What, what I mean, your uh, argument if, has to do with the fact that should I start narrating about your leaders? Should I start narrating? Do you know the why Mr. Azam Khan went to jail? Should I start See, narrating you that? Have, you have I do not know. Okay. Well, one, one, second, one, second, one, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Anila, Anila and Gansham, please. One second. I can't have both my guests speaking over each other. This will soon degenerate into a banana republic like conversation and I'm not okay with that. We'll try and keep it sane mm -hmm. and we'll try and keep it sensible. Can I please okay. come in? Supriya Shrinath. Uh, Anila Singh makes the point, look at what happened in past dispensations, look at what happened in the five years of the Samajwadi Party government rule in Uttar Pradesh. You have to look at A, electoral validation, she says, B, net-net, law and order is coming down, there is fear of the police, and yes, there are incidents, but those are isolated incidents, she argues. Supriya. I mean, this doesn't cut ice with me, is all I will say. I mean, what isolated incidents is she talking about? Look at the kind of gruesome crimes that are happening in Uttar Pradesh. And there are only two words to describe this, Rahul, and I don't want to sound as if I'm only criticizing this government. There are only two words, and those two words are political patronage. You pick up crime after crime. You either have a BJP leader involved, or there is political patronage given to the accused. You look at Kuldeep Singh Sengar, you look at Chinmay Anand, you look at what was happening with a certain minister in the UP government and what happened in the Kanpur criminal case. I mean, you know, uh, Kailash Vijay Vargya is their vice president nationally and he has said, Yogi ji ke raad mein to gaadiyaan kabhi bhi palat jaati hai. That's how brazen governance or misgovernance, shall I say, is in Uttar Pradesh. Because there is political patronage, it emboldens people to carry out the crime that they're doing. I'm not in the least surprised this guy thought he can shoot a man dead and walk away with it. That's exactly what's happening in Uttar Pradesh. And let's not keep talking about one, go one government versus the other. You are in government now. You have a majority. People have shown you their support and their faith. Let's live up to that faith instead of living in denial, Miss Singh. Anila Singh. Rahul, can I? Yes, yes please. please. Thank you so much. You know, just now I heard Supriya ji. And, you know, he was talking so bad about Uttar Pradesh. She was talking so bad about uh, Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh. Supriya ji, Uttar Pradesh is not so bad. People are not so bad. So you are talking especially about crime against women. So I have to remind you, if I talk about top five districts which are which have highest crimes against women uttar pradesh any district doesn't comes in those top five if i talk about uh, crime against uh, if i talk about the state wise uh, rape figures then again uttar pradesh is not at the top level i do not want to get into it i just have to say here that graphics which has which are being shown on this channel as well that shows that proves that crime has reduced under yogi adityanath ji and that is the fact that is the reality here's and the here, here's the here, here's the question i have for vikram saying you know a certain kind of crime done by a certain kind of criminal you can argue has indeed come down. But what we are seeing is another kind of crime done by another kind of criminal with another kind of patronage that seems to be increasing. Is that a fair assessment? How should we be dealing with that? What should the government in the, in, in the state be doing? Rahul, I think we have a tendency to do the statistic the way it suits us. Statistical correlation must go side by side with public satisfaction. My statistics, if they go to prove a point and the public satisfaction is missing, then my statistics prove nothing. I would like to just give you one statistics. Is the conviction rate going up or going down? It is going down. And if it is going down, it is a matter of concern for all of us. We are all citizens of Uttar Pradesh and we know that it is a horrific situation if the conviction rate is not going, is increasing day by day. Even in rape cases, it is well below 27%. In other heinous offenses, it's even worse. So to talk about the conviction rate is the acid test of what policing and what prosecution is all about. And I would say one last response about the police reaction there. The police, had they been professional, they knew that the right of private defense, in the extent that a person is killing someone, they should have known that they could have shot him dead there, shooting in between the eyes or on the third button. But they were absolute lame ducks, absolutely in the state of stupefaction. And this is the worst possible sign that okay. the police...
I let the former DG have the last word for the time being, Mr. Vikram Singh, Gansham Tiwari, Shrupriya Srinath, Anila Singh, for joining me on the broadcast. Thank you very much. Another rape and murder of a Dalit girl in Uttar Pradesh's Barabanki district are joining Lucknow has put the state government in the dock. One arrest has been made in this case so far, even as the family is demanding a CBI investigation. The police claim that they've caught the accused, that the accused was known to the family, and that this is not a reflection on the state of law and order in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Here's the story. A Dalit girl raped and strangulated in Uttar Pradesh's Barabanki district. The horrible crimes against women in UP continues. I am here at the Pipari village in Barabanki <laughs> where a uh, adolescent girl was brutalized she was killed raped uh, and her body was found in a field the body of the 17 year old victim was found in a field by her family on wednesday the autopsy report a day later confirmed rape following which rape charges were added to the murder case that was filed the distraught family of the dalit girl is demanding a cbi investigation <laughs> वहाँ खेत में पहुँचा तो देखे तो वहाँ पे चप्पल उतरे थे फिर जब ढूंढते ढूंढते पहुँचा धान टूट रहे देखे तो बेटी की लाश हमारी बत्ती टूट पड़ी थी वो हाथ मर पंधे हुए यूपी पुलिस क्वेश्चन डी विक्टिम्स फैमिली मेंबर्स एंड देयर रिलेटिव्स ऑन फ्राइडे वन अक्यूज्ड इस बिन अरेस्टेड � डिजिटल साक्ष्य और जमीनी सूचना के अनुसार घटना में शामिल अभियुक्त दिनेश गौतम पुत्र सत्रदिन गौतम निवासी पिपरी टोला सेठ मऊ आयु 19 वर्ष ने घटना में संलिप्त होना स्वीकार कर घटना के अन्य विवरण का खुलासा किया है द बाराबंकी क्राइम कम्स इन द वेक ऑफ सेवरल सिमिलर केसेस इन द रीसेंट पास्ट अ समाजवादी पार्टी एंड बहुजन समाज पार्टी डेलीगेशन मेट द गर्ल्स फैमिली इस घटना को पूरा दबाने का प्रयास किया जा रहा है। मेरी तो ये भी डिमांड है कि उन पुलिस कर्मियों के खिलाफ कार्यवाही हो सबसे पहले जिन लोगों ने ये तहरीर ही गलत लिखाई है। Another horrific case of rape and murder has put the Yogi government in a tight spot. It comes just days after the Chief Minister assured that his government would make safety of women its top priority. With Kumar Abhishek in Barabanki, Uttar Pradesh, Bureau Report, India Today. <laughs> First, it was the Tanishk ad that came in for criticism and backlash online. Now, there's an Akshay Kumar movie, Lakshmi Bomb, that's facing a backlash. Uh, the actor is being trolled for allegedly promoting Hindu phobia. I'll get you that story on the other side of a quick break. Stay with us.